Kelly Price, I worked with Kelly. I have a production company as well. Okay. So, um, see what I mean, guys? Step your game up. She's working. <laughs> she working. <laughs> Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. Okay, that's yeah. good. I, I want to ask you about uh, past tense with uh, Kelly Price. Okay, like, how did you even link with her to, to make yeah. that happen? Um, Kelly Price. I worked with Kelly. I have a production company as well. Okay. So um, see what I mean, guys. Step your game up. She working. <laughs> she working. She working. I have a, so, yeah. Yeah. A couple years ago, someone reached out to me because Kelly was performing at, at Essence Fest. And they wanted to have one of my camera guys come out. Nobody was available. And I was like, I'm not missing this shit. So I came out. I put one of my shirts on. <laughs> this is my business already legendary. Hey. So I put one of my already legendary shirts on. I put my hat on. And I went and filmed it for her. And when I met her, we like vibe really, really well. So one of she the... She didn't know the, you rapped at that time when she at met that you? Time, when, when I came, she knew. Like, she, they was like... What the fuck? Like, why are you? Why? Here? <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to get the job done. That's right. You know what I mean? So, um, so I I followed her around for her performance, and then um, we connected. So I ended up. She called me again when she got to Atlanta, and she had she was filming for um, Good Morning America. Okay. So she had to do this this uh, performance where they you know they cue to it or whatever. It was pre recorded, so she wanted me to film that segment. So I ended up filming that segment for her. Then she has a video called um, Dance Party. I shot and edited that video for her. So I did a lot of production for her on my own. Mm. Um, with the help of OG Films, which is one of the guys that uh, filmed with me as well. But we shot those videos for her and we became closer. She gave, she gave me a lot of advice. She's a very powerful, smart, you know, um, down positive earth. person down to earth. Yeah, so... Um, Natural. We have some songs together that we did too. So we developed our relationship like that, and then I asked her to do that song, and she she did but the song. The crazy for me. part about it is what you just said. You said I went and done this, and they looked at me like you. What are you doing? Like because they already knew you was, uh, as an established artist, mm -hmm. and, but to be able to be as humble as you just stated to go and do that. I'm a creator. I get it, but that's not something <laughs> a lot of people can't can't see that. Don't they're get not gonna, the high horse. They're not going to come down to, off their little high horse right. like me or you or right. set up some cameras or do whatever and people be like, y'all start like, man, whatever. Because nah, we ain't built like that. I saw it as an opportunity and I also saw that there was a need, you know what I mean? And I knew that I could do it. And when you speak about having a, you know, being on a high horse, I don't think I've ever experienced that. That's real. I, I've never experienced being on a high horse because I just like creating. And that's why when I told you before, when you speak about like other female rappers and artists and shit like that, the things that they desire out the game, I don't desire that. Mm -hmm. I desire to create. You know what I mean? So that was an opportunity for me. To, like, I'm sitting here and people know me as a rapper, but I just told you I filmed a whole segment for Good Morning America. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I love it. So, so, and then her, her music video. So a lot of things, and this is someone that I watched growing up and, you know, she is also a songwriter and wrote songs for so many different people. Mm -hmm, Whitney mm -hmm. Houston, uh, Biggie, Diddy, all of these oh, people. Oh, yeah, she worked. Yeah, so my ability to even make that connection, and she saw something in me even outside of the music. You know, she saw my talent with filming and stuff, so yeah. Man, I mean, that's, that, that's something to be proud of, but also God uses people, man, to connect. It's the energy and the vibration in the room. You mm -hmm. got to think about it. Everybody's mm -hmm. not going to click with everybody. Yeah. There's certain people come around. I probably never will know. But then there's some that once I meet them, I'll never forget them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think that's the way it works with the connections and the relationships that you build with mm -hmm. certain individuals. I know you've come across certain individuals where y'all didn't even talk anymore. Mm -hmm. And you just met them. And it was just for that moment. But mm -hmm. People like Kelly Price, you come in a room and it's something that just sticks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's live too, man. Like, how big was it? Like on certain songs, like Freak Like Me, like like uh, um, doing that song. What was the process? Um, that was a song that I created. It was already done, and then I reached out to High Sizzle, who is yeah. one of the yeah, he's one of the greatest performers ever. Period. Not just saying it because he's from New Orleans. Not just saying <laughs> it, you know. But he. Uh, he came to the studio, got on a song. He he added, he added himself to the song. So um, it has the Adina Highway. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a we shooting that video. Um, 
But yeah, it was something that I created and then I reached when out. When y'all to shooting that video, you don't just run up on that and don't tell me. When is it is it go it's already in the process? Why are you gonna come? I will pull up. We'll pull up. Chill. Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. Let you know then. Yeah, let me I'll know. Let you know. Boss talk to pull up. Yeah. You know, because I need to come back. New, New Orleans has embraced us. Uh, yeah, we us. love that New Orleans. The, yeah. I think that was the second I time. I saw a Jamaican restaurant that popped up on my my social media the other day, and I said, oh, I got house? to. I think that's what it yes. is. I got to try it because it looks so good. It's amazing. I love I love their food. Because I think the wife is from New Orleans and the husband from Jamaica who mm-hmm. own it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's an amazing that's spot all. to go to. But I I'm definitely um, looking at the way, you know, like I said, New Orleans has embraced Boss Talk 101. Mm-hmm. That was our second time down there. Yeah. And and now they're asking us and to come back. And the people so good. I love they the love, people. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. Let's talk about nightmares, man, for, for a minute. I'm, I'm trying to get through these. I, I, I like the project part Mm -hmm. so how was it doing that and what what was that about so between the last the last time that I dropped a a record was probably like five or six years Mm -hmm. prior to that project okay so a lot of these songs were songs that was developed over time Mm. um and I recorded them I have my own studio like my I I record at home and I send it out to get mixed that song that particular song is with a guy from here actually out here in Atlanta named Fadaro and he did the track and then he did the hook on it and sent it to me and it kind of sat for a minute but not until I started to think about you know some of the things that I talk about on that song Mm -hmm. Um, I was like damn I know the perfect beat for it so I did that but most of my most of my recording sessions I record the songs myself Mm. you know what I mean so normally I'm at home, I'm in a stu- I'm engineering my own shit, and then I send it off to somebody or they send the track to me before. That's the same thing, like the real music, uh, Lil Ronnie, Mother Elf, certain ones that's creative, mm-hmm. they do their own Shout videos. Shout out to Lil Ronnie, I love Lil, Lil Ronnie. Ronnie. Oh, Lil mm-hmm. Ronnie, Mother Elf, he gonna come on Boss Talk and he, gonna, he have his projects and he knows what he wants and he's so particular about it, he won't let other people help him a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And that's what I hear in you, like, I'm a creative, I can do it myself right. and make yeah. it right. But it also just goes goes back to the fact that I'm kind of like I, I I spend a lot of my time alone you know what I mean yeah yeah so so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have a studio in my house because I could wake up at two o'clock in the morning and go and record yeah you know yeah, what I mean hard. so so yeah I wouldn't have to wait or kind of filter my my thoughts because I had these hours that I had to wait to go with the engineer that's so right. I always get in there and I tweak it later but yeah I like my shit not to be filtered I like wow. to be able to get up whenever I had an inspiration and do it. Do it. As- yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.